Hello everyone, it's Michelle Litwiller here with Owl Star Stampers and today is Tuesday, April 9th, 2024 and I am live for our faux watercoloring. We, I have a new technique to maybe share with you or maybe you haven't done this in a while, but um, I have two cards that we're going to make today um, using this type of technique. So if you are... Um, new to my channel, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe uh, to YouTube and Facebook and you can follow all the places. Hello friends. Um, also, if you are not already on my email list, make sure you join uh, my email list and you can join it just by typing this in uh, like today I announced an amazing mystery box special mystery boxes that I have going on and any events I have um, you get the links sent right to your email so it makes it super easy all right thanks friends for hopping on thank you for your comments it's so good to see you today such well, I think it's a nice day out. <laughs> it was earlier. Thank you, Sharon. Hello, Carla and Marsha and Carol. Okay, and then um, shopping. If you guys want to do any shopping, today our last chance list, our last chance list has been out. So we're transitioning to a new catalog next month. And so we have a lot of products that are retiring. And today, starting today, a lot of those products went on sale, up to 60% off. And so you can shop. Here is my link. Um, I think this link has the host code perhaps already embedded in it. I'll put the host code up next too. But um, how I have is I have mystery um, boxes or uh, packages that you can get. And I'm going to try to pull this up on my um, my email that actually went out this morning so I can read it to you correctly because I can't even remember. I've been playing with watercolors this morning. And so um, here we go. So if you place, uh, this is before tax and shipping. Okay, this is an incredible deal. I do this once a year. I usually do this in May. And then in April, I usually do a spring retreat. So this year, we're flip-flopping. So um, I wanted to pair up with the amazing um, sale that's going on. And also, I can't launch my retreat until the very end of the month anyway for May because of the new catalog. So if you place an order with me starting today through um, next Wednesday, um, and again, these products are while supplies last if you are getting anything that's on sale. At least $50 order with my um, shopping link and code. Um, you, sorry, I hit the wrong button. Here's the host code. Um, at least $50, you're going to get a $30 value um, mystery package from me. Um, if it's uh, at least $100 before shipping and tax, you're going to get a $70 value. $150 order. Now this time you still need to use the host code. There's only like two times that you still have to use it if you go over $150. This is one of them. Um, you're going to get $100. Um, probably this will be a mystery box from me. And then I have a $300 level. So again, $300, you still got to use the code and you'll get a $200 mystery box box valued from me. So what will be in your box? Um, it could be stamp sets. It could be um, uh, designer series paper. It could be markers. It could be um, any sort of embellishment, maybe some past card kits or packages I have. It's like some of the things might be um, opened or used. Like it might be perhaps a, a bolt of ribbon that I use like not very much out of or it could be brand new ones. So if you've done this in the past, just know I give you way above what it actually says because um, I want to thank you for shopping with me. Um, the other thing is with the mystery boxes is at least one of your items will be brand new, um, a brand new product that is current that is current as well. So um, I will pick something out that I really like, and everyone will at least get that. And some of you might get multiples. Um, 
depending on the size of your order. So that's going on. It started this morning with in addition to the sale. So you can check that out and there's the code uh, for that. I'm also paying to ship you the package, which is about eight to $15. So that is in addition to your box as well. Okay, I think we went over all the details um, of that. And so today I'm gonna be using two different stamp sets. I'm gonna be using the Grassy Grove, uh, just the stamp sets only, and then I'm also gonna be using this Hills of Tuscany. So last week we did watercolor backgrounds on Tuesday, and we made these beautiful watercolor wash backgrounds. I showed you different ways. If you missed that video, you can still go back and watch the replay. So we did these. And then I also showed you how, um, and then this one, I, I didn't post that one. Look at how that one turned out. That was just uh, the Tahitian Tide, um, a little wash. And then I stamped that flower on vellum with black embossing powder and just put the circle to make it pop. I colored it with, um, and then we did this one. This one is also featuring the stamps that we're gonna use today. This one we did that block technique where you ink up the block. This was block D. And then this was um, with one of the blocks too. So you can check those videos out uh, from last week. There was a seaside spray card, but I, with the bird, I posted it, so I don't know. There was another card we turned into. Okay, but today, look at the cards we're going to make today. You're going to look like an artist if you try these cards out. We're going to do this card, and we're going to make this card. I promise you they're not difficult. You just need a few supplies. So I'm going to turn the camera down, and we're going to get started making these um, faux watercolor cards. All right, so uh, the supplies you need to make these cards, um, you will need your a spritzer with just water included in your thing and your uh, water painters. So um, they come in a set of three and I like them. I also have just a cup of water off to the side. Uh, I just don't wanna like knock it over and that's just to clean clean my brushes off if I switch colors I have a napkin and I also have like a baby wipe here so those are some of the supplies you need and then you're going to want watercolor paper it comes in a package like this the fluid watercolor paper this is um, five by seven inches you get ten sheets and for a lot of these cards I just cut them in half to make our card fronts, which I think I need to get a sheet out to, to do for today. We're just gonna make two cards today, start to finish. Um, so we need a piece of that. And then you'll just need your ink pads. So the ones I'm using are, are um, just regular ink pads. These are water-based ink pads. So that's why they work really well. I have, depending on the cards, I have um, kind of using some neutral, kind of like some masculine type cards today, or at least the one is, I feel like the one is with the deer. Not that girls don't deer hunt. My one friend goes deer hunting every year. She's like gets more deer than I know, but um, in general, the people in my family are always men, but my even my grandma used to deer hunt every so often. Okay. But it's just a beautiful scenery card is basically <laughs> what we're making. I got off track. So this seven inch side of the watercolor paper, I'm just gonna cut it down to um, three and a half. And then this um, one piece will make two different cards for us. Okay, I wanna show, um, I'm gonna hold off and show the one I, this one I can't wait to show you. We're gonna do this one second. Look at how cool that is. It's just so pretty. We're gonna make this card first. Um, this one uses the Hills of Tuscany and it's kind of like it's gonna play off a little bit of that block technique that we did last week uh, where you um, 
spritz your watercolor paper you take a block you ink it up and you can um, do like two different colors or half the block in one and half in the other we're going to do a little bit of that but also we're going to introduce stamps kind of like stamps the same way okay so for this piece we have our watercolor paper I, this light is just right in right in the way let me see if i can move this up a little bit without dumping this thing of water my little glass mat up just a hair let's see okay there we go i think that's a little bit you're gonna see those little dots from my light but at least that now you can there we go you can see what i'm doing better okay so to start off with this we are going to be using um, this piece right here and I have my block and um, this is one of the cards I have several cards so just remind me if I forget to show you the cards we're going to um, put together so here's another one I did okay so I'm using garden green ink pad I'm going to be using um, early espresso pool party uh, real red and daffodil delight so um, I have several ink pads that we're going to be using but we're gonna start with the garden nope we're gonna start with the early espresso and then the garden green um, Sharon said I've been having so much fun with this set. I'm glad this is, a, it's a really fun um, set. Okay, so to get started, I'm gonna move my brushes off to the side here. I'm gonna put my ink pad here. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to spritz our watercolor paper with water. So there's, uh, these are the Stampin' Up! spritzers. And it's going to spritz. So my paper, my watercolor paper is not dry. Then I have this little um, like mound of whatever this is, like a little hill. I'm inking this up in early espresso ink. And then kind of like how we stamped the block, we're gonna do the same thing with the stamp today. So you're gonna take your little spritzer and just give it like one or two spritz. And then we're gonna stamp this along the bottom of the paper, okay? So just kind of like that. And then when I lift it up, it's going to bleed a little. And I want it to go all the way to the bottom. So I can actually just even stamp a little bit more to get the coverage, to get it covered like that I like. See that? Okay. And then I have a, maybe I should move my phone out of the way. <laughs> uh, just a baby wipe. I'm just going to wipe a little bit of that mess off. Okay, have no fear if it bleeds up. This is kind of, if you've ever seen or had watercolor paintings, this uh, is kind of what it does. You can also blot a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna use the same stamp and I'm gonna turn it upside down. And now I'm gonna add um, greenery going across it. And so I'm, I'm done with the, I'm not done with the brown. I'm almost done with the brown. I'm gonna use garden green. So the same thing is I am going to spritz my paper. I want to make sure it's damp. And then I'm going to take my stamp and ink it in the garden green. And then before I put it on, I'm going to spritz it once or twice with my ink pad. Now this time I'm going upside down and I'm going to kind of meet that brown. And that didn't, I didn't press hard enough, so I'm just gonna do it again. See, there, that worked. And then I'm going to just come along here and stamp it a second time, because there's the ink is on the block there. All right, so do you see, now I have some green down there. If you missed any spots, just take your little stamp and you can fill it in all right 
I'm trying to see, I think I want a little bit more green. So I'm going to ink this same stamp up one more time in the garden green. Hello everyone, thanks for joining us today and sharing. Okay, I'm gonna spritz my stamp one more time. Well, I spritzed it twice after I inked it and I'm gonna go right in the middle and I'm gonna overlap the garden green I already have and just stamp it again like that. Now this ink you can kind of move uh, around like that. Okay. All right, we're done with we're done with this stamp. So I think what I'm going to do now is I want this green to dry. So I ha I do have my heat tool. And I'm going to turn it on and just dry a little bit of this green so it won't bleed in the top. And then we're going to go on to our next step, which is going to be our house. So just bear with me for one second while I just dry this for a quick second. Okay, so now you can kind of see what it looks like. Doesn't that look so pretty? If It looks very much like watercolor. Okay, so we're going to take uh, the house now and put the house on the hill. And so the house is a two-step stamp. If you saw my video on Friday, I made a card with this set, just stamping on plain paper. And um, we did this or we use the house anyway. Okay, so I have real red, and then the little top of the house we're gonna do an early espresso. So I'm gonna switch these ink pads out, and I'm going to use this smaller block here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm gonna spray um, kind of like the top part of my watercolor paper. You can also go in with your brush to kind of make sure it's a little wet where you want it. I got a little bit of green up there, but our sky is going to brush it out. Can you see it's, it's, it's wet, a little glossy there? And then we have our house. I'm stamping it in the real red. And then I'm going to also spritz it one time. Okay. And then I'm going to stamp it just put it right where you want it and I'm gonna hold it for a second okay and then uh, there we go there is our house so uh, that looks pretty good I'm gonna hit it with my heat tool and dry it I can never turn that off for some reason. It's like, I'm done. Oh, just kidding. It's going to keep going for 30 more seconds. Okay, now we have the top of our house, the roof. So we're done with the red. I'm going to close that up. And now for this, um, I'm not going to wet my paper because the roof is so skinny. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it, but I'm going to go in with one of my brushes and blend it out a little bit if I need to. So the roof is, I'm just doing the early espresso and oops, I'm going to spritz it though one time. I got a little bit too much water, so I'm tapping it back in the pad. If you got a little bit too much water, you can do that because again, they're water-based ink. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to stamp this right like that. Now this is like super like precise and I don't want that because it's watercolor so I'm just taking my um, little water painter and making sure it's clean I'm dabbing off and I'm just going to take this and just dab a little bit on that roof to make it like to watercolor it to bleed the ink a little bit out anyway 
so it's not so perfect. Just a little bit and then I can show you what it looks like now, kind of like that. All right, next up we're gonna do our trees. So there's a couple sets of uh, the trees in here. I'm just gonna use a set with the three. Uh, at least that's my plan. And I'm gonna, okay, that looks good. For this, I am gonna spritz. I want, I'm gonna add trees here and down here and over here. Um, so I'm gonna spray a little bit of water and there went the red. That's okay, I'm just gonna pick it up. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with my garden green. And you're gonna spritz your stamp once. And then you can stamp your trees. Do the same thing. And I'm going to stamp them over here. And let me ink it up one more time. Then spritz with your little spritzer. I'm going to come down here and have some. And then ink it up again and do one little spritz and have some trees down here. Um, can you see how the trees are? And then again, if you want a more watercolor, just take your brush and kind of just dab a little bit of water to kind of have it match what we have going on. Okay, what do you guys think so far? It's coming along. If you want to add um, more of a path in there, like if you want more brown, you can take this little stamp or even this and you can go in with your green and kind of, again, spritz it with just a little bit of water and you can kind of build up the color. See how that just added a little bit? And you could um, go along the top too. See how you can just kind of like turn, like just make like all kinds of cool creations with this. So there, like see I added a little bit more there. All right, and now let's do our sky. And the first one, I was kind of plain, and I did a little bit of blue and yellow, and then I, I, this other one I did, I made it all blue, and I really like that. So that's what we're gonna do this time. So I need a bigger block, and we're gonna use this piece right here for our sky and some pool party ink. So I think I'm done with the brown. Maybe we're gonna use it again. I'm gonna keep it out. I think I might use a little of these speckles uh, in the bottom in brown. Okay, so I'm going to take that big giant stamp and we're going to add our blue sky. So I like this because it kind of can go right around there. And so I'm going to spray this with my water and I'm gonna spray only like the top part of this paper. And I'm going to stamp this once and then I'm going to, okay, so see how it looks. I'm not re-inking it, I'm just moving this down and where there's more um, white space, I'm just gonna stamp it again and then I'm gonna do the same over here again. 
And then, so it kind of looks like this, I'm gonna take my water painter and I'm going to um, just blend a little bit more of that blue in like that. And you can also, if you want more blue, like grab it from the lid and you can even kind of like stifle a little bit in if you want. Okay. This is kind of what we have so far, the blue. And then um, if you wanted to cover up a little bit of that red that kind of blended, if it blended too much for you, you can um, go in with your garden green. I just squeezed my ink pad to get ink on the lid. And I'm gonna take my brush here. Um, and I'm just gonna like, it's pretty dry there. So you can just kinda dab and then Um, fill in a little bit and then you could also probably if you were really good almost like the water could almost like lighten that the water definitely lights it lightens it and you can see I'm pulling the color off and towards the house it's like definitely lighting that up a little bit you could, um, but I think it looks pretty good. If you really didn't like it, you could just add another little tree by doing this. Just add, fill in another little tree. There we go. Fixed. And then if you need to dab it a little bit with your water painter okay so the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our Sun and I'm using daffodil delight you could use crushed curry and to do that I did want the water or the paper more dry so I'm gonna add our Sun over here today for this card and I'm gonna ink it up in the yellow. I'm gonna do one little spritz of water. Okay, that was a little bit much, so I'm gonna tap a little bit off. And then go right in here. And then take my water brush and just blend it out a little bit so it's not like so perfect. And I'm going to do the same with these little trees. Okay, the last thing we're going to do that I the sun made me think of the solar eclipse yesterday. Did you guys get to see that? Okay, the last thing is I'm going to add a little bit of these little speckles down here in the brown and then uh, again you can just keep adding and playing with these like techniques uh, with your stamps to get the scenery that you like. Okay, we're going to take these little speckles. I have, well it didn't stick, my block is really wet. Maybe that's why, let me wipe it off. There. Okay, I inked that up in the early espresso. I'm gonna spritz it once with the water. Then tap it just once, and then I'm gonna add just a few of these little dots in here. Do the same thing. Spritz it. And can you see how it's adding a little bit there? And you can even go in with that green 
and do the same thing. And add a little bit in here. All right, so here is what it looks like. We're gonna let that dry for just a second and I'm gonna bring in the pieces to create the card. Okay, we need to stamp your In My Thoughts, so just on a scrap of white paper. So I have that right here. Okay, we're done with our little watercolor piece. Let's set that up there. You are in my thoughts. I have just a little piece of basic white. I'm just using the early espresso. I'm just gonna stamp that straight across. Um, all right. Let's see. What do you guys think so far? Let me know in the comments. All right, now we're done with this. We're going to not put your hand in it. Grab some cardstock. So I have a piece of um, thick white cardstock. I'm going to throw this away and get a new one on the next card. It's just a little baby wipe. I like it because it's a little damp. And I got a new one just to wipe off my fingers. Okay, so we're going to fold this in half. This is just cut the the opposite way. It's four and a quarter by 11, and it's scored at five and a half. And then I have a piece of garden green, which is the um, color that we used in the ink on here. So I'm going to layer these together. Actually, this is a little wet still. So let me just hit, hit it with the heat tool for a second. Okay, now it's nice and dry, and now we can add some adhesive to the back. So because it's, um, I did the back because it can kind of curl because the watercolor paper is thicker and once the water is added, it can bend and curl. So I always heat the front and the back, it kind of like flattens it back out again. And then um, I'm just gonna add this to our garden green layer, just like, this and then I'm just going to put it on my card flat today and then we're going to add our sentiment so let me get this so this is one way I can't wait to show you the other little faux technique on the next card it's super easy too but it's a little bit different so the next card is definitely going to be a little different so stick around we have this, and then we're gonna just take our Your In My Thoughts. You can cut it as a banner, however you guys like. And then you can um, stick it on kind of wherever uh, you want. You could put it up here in the sky. You could have it down here. I think I might put it up here this time. And I will put it on with dimensionals. Amy said, I love the look of watercolors, but I haven't been brave enough to try it. Well, this is an easy way, I think, to try it. Or you could try the video like we did last week with just the backgrounds. That's actually probably the easiest is to start with the backgrounds. And then this one is so easy because you're just getting your paper wet, inking up your stamp, spritzing it, and going directly on the paper. It's actually very easy. And there's our card. There's our finished card. What do you think? Um... It looks like you might have painted it directly with ink, but you didn't. You stamped it and then it with the technique with spritzing it with the water and making sure your paper is wet, it gives it that look, the illusion that you actually watercolored the whole scene, but your stamps did the work for you. Here's my other version where I added some yellow to the top and my 
actually now that I think of it, I think I use Balmy Blue ink here, so it's a little bit more vibrant. So you can definitely play around with the colors of ink to um, get it to stand out more. Um, you could go in, I could have went in more with some more brown at the bottom to make the bottom a little bit uh, darker too. So um, this just kind of looks like a cloudy, a little bit of a cloudier sky. It's more subtle. And then, um, so yeah, so that is our first card. So yeah, this is Balmy Blue. This is um, Pool Party. So I can show you the difference. I had pool party out. Actually, they look kind of the same on camera. But this one clearly has a little bit more, um, has like a hint of purple once it's blended out or added water to it. Okay. What do you guys think? Uh, Carla said, um, really amazing. It looks great. Uh, yes, it does look like a painting, but it's just literally your stamps. So it's like really cool. And every time they turn out a little bit different, like I said last week. Okay, this next one is super fun. This is a different way to do some faux watercoloring. But first, let me wipe this off. I forgot to do that. And we're going to be using the Grassy Grove set. So for this one, I was, I'm sorry, my light is picking up the reflection. I was trying to find some trees. Um, I wanted to do, again, like kind of just like a scene. And this, um, came, this is what I grabbed. And so I just made this card this morning. And I, that's the first time I've actually done this actual technique. So let's see how it turns out. We only need these pieces of paper for this card. I have a card base that is Old Olive. I have a layer that's Early Espresso. And then this is my watercolor paper. Again, it's the 5 by 7 I just cut it in half so it's three and a half by five. Yep. So we're going to set these aside and we're going to do the water coloring first. So for this card, I am using um, pecan pie, old olive, and soft sea foam. I'm also using for to stamp my sentiment stays on ink. Now, Stays on Ink is not a water-based ink. These are water-based. So if my paper is a little wet when I stamp my sentiment, this will not bleed. Okay, so I'm going to use that at the very end, but I just wanted to show you. And I did just re-ink my ink pad so it was nice and juicy because, the, like I mentioned, the watercolor paper does have texture, and I want to make sure my sentiment is bold, so I did just re-ink that. I always recommend getting the re-inkers when you get an ink pad. So then it pretty much makes sure your ink pad is good for life. Um, unless you, it's like your favorite color and then it might not be. You might not need, an, you might need another one. But we're going to start off with our lightest color soft sea foam. It's just a pale, pale green. And I have this image of the trees right here. Um, Amy said the Grassy Grove is one of my favorite sets. I really like it and I need to use it more. It's not retiring. Um, so I was happy to see that. And this time we're going to do our trees. Um, it's going to go like the landscape. Landscape view, is that right? Okay, so let me grab trees. And for this we are also going to spritz our watercolor paper. And so get the whole thing damp. You can also take your brush and make sure the water is all across it. You can kind of see how it's glossy and wet. And now we're going to open up our ink pad and we are going to stamp our trees in the soft sea foam and then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to spritz it and we're going to go in here and stamp it on the watercolor paper and it's going to bleed out and that's okay because we're going to be layering colors on this one. We're going to do this three times. Um, we're going to go all the way across the paper actually. This one and whoops I need to re 
stamp. I know it's this is very light, but this is gonna create a, such a cool the background for this. That one, and then one more time. Thanks for sharing, guys, if you're on here and watching. Okay, I spritzed that with water one more time and it's gonna go right on the edge. And then if I hold this up, you can see that you can kind of see the trees in the background, right? And we're just gonna take our brush and kind of blend, blend that out even more with the water. So almost like shadows, blended little shadows. So it's there, it's just a light, light green. Okay, we're, we're done with that. Now we're gonna go in with the old olive, which is, I was looking for a green that wasn't the next lightest green. And the garden green, which we used on the last card, you can see is a little bit darker. So that's why I chose old olive for this, just to show a different type of green. So we're opening this up and I'm going to stamp my tree in the old olive and I'm gonna spritz this again and my paper. And I'm going to go over where I stamped three of the trees. The middle I'm gonna leave open because we're gonna stamp a deer but I'm going to, it's okay if it's not perfect. Uh, just remember, it's okay if it's not perfect. <laughs> we're gonna stamp that. Then we're gonna do the same thing, do one next to it. I inked it up, I got my spritzer. We're gonna spritz, spritz it once with water. Do one right next to it. Okay. And we're gonna do this right here, spritz it with your water. And then this one I'm just gonna put over on the side. Wait till you see the end though, it's so cool. All right. This is what it looks like. And then with your brush, you're gonna kinda blend it a little bit. And with the paper being wet, it just kind of naturally blends too. So we're gonna get kind of, and no, you can't tell, but there, this part right here down is like a light green and the top is, um, this part is white. All right, so now we're gonna go in with um, this stamp and we're gonna add in some ground. All right, we're gonna take this one right here. I have my block. I'm gonna take off the trees. We're not done with the trees yet. I'm just letting this dry a little bit. I'm gonna ink up the, um, old olive. I'm gonna spritz it with water. And make sure the bottom is wet and well. It's, my block is really damp, so it doesn't want to stick. We'll try it again. Okay, spritz it and just go in and add this on the bottom. And I'm just going along the edge. Like I didn't re-ink that. Do you see how I just did once and then I just went all along the bottom to create our grass at the bottom. All right, so now I'm just gonna wipe that off so I don't create a mess. I'm gonna wipe this off and we're gonna go in, we're gonna do our trees again in just a second. So that's it with the bottom piece. Now let's go in with, actually, let's dry this for one second with our heat gun. See where we're at so far?
that light green is like very, 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 very subtle. <laughs> my other one was a little bit darker. Maybe I should have re-inked my, um, maybe I should have re-inked my ink pad. Um, what am I doing? I don't need it. I'm going to take um, the deer next, this deer, and we're gonna do that. And then we'll do the final trees. So I'm going to take this deer and I'm gonna take a brown. I'm using the pecan pie. And I'm going to ink up the deer. And I'm going to spritz the deer. I'm gonna hold my spritzer back further than I have been. Because I don't want it, like, I definitely want the definition of the deer. I'm going to spray my paper right in this area where the deer is going to go. Just so it's a little wet. And then we're going to stamp this deer in here. I'm just holding it for a second. And then it's not quite blended out like I want, so I... Just have my little brush here and just gonna add just the tiniest bit to again make it look like you painted the deer but really you just stamped it is all and then if you got too much coming off the side just take a dry paper towel and dab it a little bit All right, here we go. Now our last thing is, is um, for the trees anyway, is we need early espresso. Oh, where did I put that color? Dark brown. It kind of went too far. It's because we just used it. Here it is, it's backwards. So we're gonna do our trees um, over top the green. So we did the lightest green, it's kind of bleated in the background, and now we did the old olive, and now we're gonna do kind of like more of the definition over top. So I'm gonna just spritz this tree, I did it in early espresso, spray it once with your water, the right direction, and kind of line it up, but it doesn't again have to be perfect. And there you go. Do that two more times. Ink it up in the early espresso. Spritz it once with your water. And go over top of your trees. And then one more time over here. All right, one more time. I will share a picture too so you can see. Um, so that's what it looks like. And then if your trees, you can just take your pen and kind of blend a little bit of the brown out. You don't have to do too much. And you can see because it is damp, it's kind of bleeding out over here. And if you need to tap any areas with your brush, you can. But, all right, we pretty much, I think we got it. I might add a little bit of that soft sea foam in the background. I might add a little bit more of this in here. Um, it doesn't look like it's showing up as much, let me re-ink here don't those trees look amazing like isn't that so cool how you do that again it's so easy I promise you it's easy if it's if it's too hard I won't show you how to do it okay so I have a little bit of the soft sea foam here I'm just doing a little bit of touch-up work you can leave it how it is but I am gonna take some of this green and just dab it in this like kind of background here and you can't see it on camera but it is like a hint of green up like this from where we stamped those trees so I'm just gonna blot 
again, the more imperfect it is, the more um, it'll kind of look a little more natural than if you try to do a perfect line or something. And I'm going to put a little bit up here. I'm just squeezing a little bit of water in my thing. And I'm going to put a little bit over here. And up here. And then I'm going to take the wide brush and kind of wipe, swipe across. There. Oh, I want a little bit over here. Okay, there we go. That's, I know you can't see the green, but you will, and I'll show you the one I already have done. Okay, to finish this card off, what do you guys think of it so far? We're almost done. Okay. <laughs> to finish it off, we're going to take our other, we got to stamp our, our sentiment, and I'm stamping. Sometimes you need to know that somebody really cares. And then on the inside, you can stamp that someone is me. And so I have that right here. Um, hopefully we can stamp this one straight because on my first one, it's a little bit crooked. Um, I'm going to dry this for a second though. Okay, now that it's dry, you can see that light green in the background. Can you see it now? It's also my light is washing it out a little bit. But can you see that light soft sea foam in the background just here going right behind the trees? Again, that's what we stamped first with this going all the way across. Then we went moved to Old Olive. And then we did the more definition in the early espresso. So, um... I think you can see it now if I hold it like this way. So now we're going to stamp our sentiment and put this together. This is, I, I love this technique. I hope you guys love it and you try it. You get out your stamps. Okay, again, this is the stays on because this is um, not water-based. This is a solvent ink pad. So it's not gonna bleed, although I did just dry it. I did re-ink it. I'm going to stamp it directly in my watercolor paper, and I'm going to cry if I make a mistake. No, I'm not, because I can fix it if I do. Okay, I'm pulling it down so I can see it. Sorry, guys. Okay, sometimes we need to know that someone really cares. We're going to stamp this. I'm going to hold it for just a second. Uh, it's crooked. Maybe my stamp is crooked, because that I did pretty good. It's still a little wonky it's not straight but if you could see I really did it straight it's so weird maybe my sticker is on crooked well it is what it is whoever gets this will hopefully just know that I care anyway all right <laughs> there we go you could take a piece of watercolor paper and re-stamp it and put it pop it up behind it which I actually did I was um, testing out my paper I don't know what I did with it though I moved it I want to just put the finished card anyway you could stamp it on watercolor paper and add it I just don't know I did that to show you no idea where it's at so whatever Okay, we're going to take linen thread for this card, and we're going to wrap it around. Yeah, you can totally see the green, the light green in the background now. 
Okay, we're gonna wrap it around. Gotta trust the process. <laughs> wrap it around twice and I'm gonna tie a bow. Okay. I'm so glad that you guys like this technique. Uh, the card. Okay. So you could think about doing this like with a winter scene with like some blues. Uh, uh, if you have like some dark blue and light blue, uh, your trees could be stamped in like a navy blue and you could start with like a balmy blue and then like a, maybe a misty moonlight and then a navy blue or yeah, you could do a lot of different fun color combinations. So I wrapped that twine around twice. I'm going to add my glue all the way around here. Stick it on this early espresso and then we have our old olive card base and we are going to glue this down flat as well. All right. Next week, I'm going to, next Tuesday at noon, I'm going to show you how I watercolor with stamps, like where you stamp it, like say like a hummingbird, and then you watercolor it. So we're going to be doing that next week. I just wanted to show you first the watercolor backgrounds. This week, faux watercoloring with stamp sets, and next week we'll do some watercoloring. But there's our, uh, apparently I put this on crooked too. Maybe it's just uh, me. Maybe I'm the problem with uh, things being a little crooked there. I don't know. It does look like my sticker is not quite on straight, and I just put that on today. Okay, I can fix this part at least. Can you see that background now? It's so cool. So here is my other card can see how they look just a little bit different each time, but super cool. So on this one, my tree like had a lot of bleeding. So I just went over a second time. And so you can make, you can totally like make it, make it work, make them work. Okay, that's the cards for today. What do you think? What do you think of this faux watercolor technique? Uh, using your, you just need water, your brushes, um, your stamps, and you can create some really beautiful painting-like cards. So there's that one. And the other one we did with the Hills of Tuscany, we have right here. We have those cards. Here's another background I did with this one that I, I can finish off also. So let me know what you think of that. And if you will be uh, brave to try it. <laughs> I promise it's not difficult. Um, all right, so again, uh, make sure that you um, have subscribed and then if you guys um, need the host code to do any shopping for the mystery boxes you can do um, that right there I will be live again on Wednesday night 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time I go live every Wednesday night very few times that I'm not live and so I plan to bring you some new cards then um, again I hope you love this fun technique of faux water coloring and um, again, I'd love to hear your comments on what you think of this, um, how it turned out, because they're super fun to try. I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.